G'day, this is Marty Ware from Marty's Garden on YouTube and today we're talking about growing snow peas. Yes, I love to grow snow peas when I get the opportunity and I've been growing them for years and I really love them because they're just, I don't know, I remember when I was a little kid I used to sneak into the neighbour's yard and I used to, I don't know if they saw me but I used to do it and I just loved them and I've loved them ever since and see the trick is with snow peas is to, they don't like to transplant, so you need to really self-sow them and to collect your seed every year is if you're growing them on and on. Now they thrive in cooler conditions, so you don't want to plant them out before this, when the summer heat comes. Uh, if you live in a cooler climate all year round, then you can do it like that. It usually takes about two months for them to harvest, and it's best to get them when the, the pods are fairly flat because you can eat them straight away that way, you know. Um, they're a vining plant, so you need to have some type of way for them to climb up. Uh, I like to just have strings uh, tied down to some type of vertical beam and then just help them as they go up the up the string, just give them a bit of a helping hand. And they love lots of fertilizer and lots of compost. So a nitrogen-rich fertilizer, uh, about every two weeks, give them some fish emulsion. And if you've got any worm castings and worm weed, then that is perfect for them. Uh, it's best if they get full sun, minimum of four to six hours through the day. And yeah, don't let them grow too close together and bunch up as because I might have fungus problems. Other than that, happy gardening with uh, growing snow peas and watch the rest of this video from this lovely farm that I just come back from. Alright, I'm Marty Ware. Don't forget to subscribe at YouTube slash Marty's Garden so you can see more videos just like this and visit us at thepottedvegetablegarden.com if you love container gardening. Okay, and I'll see you there. Hey, this is Marty and Karen from Marty's Garden on YouTube. And um, today we've got Laurie Lorikeet and we are at a very special farm. Oh, oh don't forget and Karen. Say hello, Laurie. And what are we doing today? We're at the biodynamic farm and we're going to show you some biodynamic peas growing over here. So let's go over. And here we go. I'm just going to flip over the camera because we've got no tripod today. And look at this. These are the peas here that are growing vertical up some strings. Now, if you don't tie the peas up and grow them vertical, they will fall on the ground and you will lose all your peas. So these are really strong and they're grown, you wouldn't believe it or not, in Garanda water, which is a special type of water. Check it out, it, it comes from, uh, <laughs> from something that you really need to know about. If you don't know about Garanda water, you should check it out. Puts the cell memory back into the life force of the water and removes disease and all types of things. And it's fantastic for biodynamic farming and all types of farming. So there we have it. They're our biodynamic peas. Now, when you grow them, they will climb up themselves, up the strings, but I recommend that you come along and just grab one of these little, if we can see it, they have little hooks on them. Here they are, have little hooks. Just twist the hook around like that, or twist the plant around, and then twist the hook around a couple of times. So it's, they're really strong, so it's around the string, and then the plant will keep climbing up. Okay, so that's it. Biodynamic peas and vertical peas. Okay, say goodbye, Laurie Lorikeet. Bye. <laughs>